I can't find the actual thing right now, but look, I pulled up to uh, I pulled up to No Jumper News. I did a little interview with Sharp. Sharp kind of pressed me. Now there's this video. I haven't actually watched this yet, but a lot of people have been telling me that there's this video. It's got damn near 100k views. I can't believe that. But everyone was saying Sharp got owned by me. Now I didn't even see it that way. I didn't even think Sharp was pressing me that hard. Maybe in uh, you know what I'm saying maybe uh. Maybe it was worse than I remembered, but at the time, like, I don't really let this kind of criticism go to heart too hard. Um, I don't really let it get me down too much. But um, let me try and find the actual, the actual one. Uh, where are my playlists? Where are my playlists up in this biznitch? Collabs and interviews. I've been putting stuff in the wrong playlist, you know. I've been I've been putting stuff in the wrong damn playlist, people. That's embarrassing. Where are my playlists? Look, so I did the no jumper news basically. I have been putting everything in the wrong playlist. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna fix that. Um. Hmm. Uh. All right. Here we go. Where is it? Here we go. Nice. All right. What we... All right. So I pulled up to no jumper news. All right. And now look, I knew Sharp wasn't 100% feeling me from the very start, okay? I I was aware that Sharp had a problem with your boy. And the irony is, I'm a massive fan of Sharp. I'm actually genuinely an enormous Sharp fan. Like, the crazy thing is, like, I knew that Sharp had a problem with me. And I think Hellcat... I'd, I'd never seen Hellcat talk about me before this. So I gotta say, like, I don't know if she had a problem with me before this. But she was kind of in Sharp's corner, you know what I'm saying? Look. It was, this was quite a good reveal, actually, because I never watched this back. I just lived it firsthand. But, like, I'm tucked away, you know what I'm saying, behind Josh right here, and it's a big reveal when I pull up. But I knew that Sharp was going to have some stern words for me. I knew that he wasn't 100% in support of what it is that I do. But, like, bro, I will never duck a fade. I was on Clubhouse last night arguing with all kinds of haters. I, I believe in what I do. I will stand on everything that I say, every documentary that I've ever done, every joke that I've ever made. I will stand on it, or at least apologize profusely if I genuinely feel like I've made a mistake. So... I wasn't scared about going into the lion's den, into the shark cage with Sharp. But um, a lot of people thought this was really interesting. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Where is it? People saying I own Sharp. Now, I don't think I own Sharp. I, it was not my objective to own Sharp in any way, shape or form. But uh, this was actually all in response, I believe, to an older clip where Mona and Sharp go off on me. So I can break this down now from scratch. Right now, you can have $37 in your cash app and $100 in your pocket. But if you got five bodies in your area, you are the fucking man. That's how it is right now. We we came up off niggas respected that had bread. Niggas mm -hmm. respected that. I don't even think it's worth game. Like, that shit ain't worth shit. Yo, it's just a different time. Like, and this is the crazier part. Niggas a tweet. Yeah, I just caught that nigga on 65th, or I'ma catch, I'ma be on and go kill a nigga on 65th, and then that's that. Yo, when that nigga did that King Von documentary, that's all he used was tweets. Von was that heavy on Twitter. I think that was a uh, Trap Lord. Yeah, Ross, the one with correct? the small head, the funny looking one, Harry yeah, Potter. Yeah, Trap Lord Ross <laughs> did that. But um, not a huge fan of Trap Lord Ross. Just don't like it. Some nah, of this culture vulture shit it. irritates that, me. I don't, I don't fuck with that because I feel like <laughs> Trap Lord Ross is just another fucking fan watching from behind the scenes and he took something and he capitalized off mm -hmm. of it. I can't lie to you people, okay? I know some people probably would feel some type of way about someone speaking about him like this, but like, I'm a fan of Sharp, bro. Even just my, uh, this is gonna sound like a mad pause, but even just my name coming out of Sharp's lips is a, is a W to me. The fact that Sharp's even talking about your boy all the way from England, straight out of Bognor Regis, and you got Big Sharp, you know what I'm saying? The Las Vegas legend talking about me, bro. That's a W in my book anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I knew I was ready to have a debate with Sharp. The fact that I could even get in a room with Sharp is a win. But um, you know what I'm saying? Sharp wasn't feeling me, man. This was the opinion that was floating around back in the day. This was four months ago that this happened. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Laura from Adam's team said, look, we're going to have to set up the debate with you and Sharp. We're going to have to set this up and make this happen, man. I'm not with, especially something that ain't even got nothing to do with him. Yo, you not that even nigga ain't from never here. Even been, he ain't never even been through even a piece of that shit. Bro, they gang, they gangsters over there. Why don't he fuck with them niggas over there? Them niggas be street niggas Trap over there. Ross. Hey, listen, suspect active gang documentary coming very soon. So you know what I'm saying? We cook it. Hey, hey, I'm going to be real with you, nigga. Shame on you, nigga. Shame on you, bitch you ass nigga. Because I'm going to be real. Fuck you, you that nigga. Uh, to be real, he went down some whole shit because if you really look at the shit. He's a whore, nigga. You, you, you put some shit together that you really don't even know nothing really about. You don't know shit, nigga. You got hey, all hey, hey, that's Cap. I know everything about this shit, bro. I know more about. I'm literally. I. 
I'll keep it real with you, bro. Outside of people that actually either knew Von in real life or worked with him, as far as genuine people that aren't personally involved in Von's life, I probably know more about Von than anyone in the entire universe. Like, legit. Facts. As an outsider, I don't claim to be his best buddy. I wasn't hiding in a dumpster outside of his crib writing notes. But, like, you can't really say that anybody knows more about Von than me. ...off a line. And some niggas that claim they knew, like, you try to paint Von nigga as... Like, any of his demon. people spoke up. Yeah, his people Twitter spoke up. Twitter finger was like, ass hey, nigga. homie. That wasn't even... His friends was like, damn, my nigga, like, you're really putting extras. You're looking at a 14-year-old nigga tweets. Bitch ass nigga. Do some. You want to be a... He was like 18 when those tweets happened. Fucking journalist with your wet ass mouth. He always clock, 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 ball ass spit. He's nasty. And I know he not getting What'd fucked think? over What'd there. And hey, listen. You, I, I, ain't even gonna, I, ain't, I ain't gonna talk too much. Uh, think me, you, Trap Lord Ross, just sit down. Yeah, but it's gonna be a Kelpie situation. I might yeah. swing on that nigga. Yo, she, okay, listen, right? She a big body. I can't lie. She probably packed me out. She probably packed me out, so I ain't even I ain't even trying to do none of that, okay? But like, I feel like that's hilarious. I'll keep it real with you. I don't even know who she is. I ain't seen her since. This is the only clip I ever seen of this chick. So you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a clue. But Sharp, he's somebody I actually respect. So I had to get into the studio with Sharp, have a conversation with him. And so four months later, man, this cooked, this fermented, this ruminated for four months, and it all led up to this glorious moment where this happened. They're going live. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, three. I can't lie. Two. Run this. One. Welcome back to another episode of No Jumping <coughs> News. Today is Friday, November 17th. And I say it all the time, but I do mean it today. I think we have the most legendary cast in the building. We are joined by the one and only Hellcat in the love seat. What's going on? Right, shout out Hellcat, man, because I, I, I'll be honest, I've been seeing Hellcat in the No Jumper content for the, for, the, for the period leading up to this interview and this in-person situation. And I, I really fuck with Hellcat. I feel like Hellcat's a really great talent. Like, I feel like Hellcat's like, you know what I'm saying, one of the, about to be one of the new people at No Jumper that's really like bringing something different to the table, bro. Like, I feel like Adam's spotting some really good talent. So shout out Hellcat. And again, like, we have this tense conversation, but like... After this conversation, we all squashed it and became good friends, man. And shout out Hellcat, because I feel like she's really, really cool. I feel like she's got a lot to say. She's got a lot, lot of personality to bring to the table. And, like, you know, this conversation was realistically my first interaction with her. But, like, I think she's lit, bro. I think she's going to do big things. So shout out Hellcat. What's going on, Joe? And of Party course. Tonight. I ain't getting my, my, like, introduction. I'm literally doing it right now. <laughs> we have Officer Flacco in the back. Yes, sir. Reporting for duty. We have our very, very, very special guest from a far, far away, Traplor Ross, in the building today for the news. What's going on, man? Hey, let's go, man. UK in the building. And, of course, the one, the only, the so sharpest, the sharp, in the building. What's going on, man? What's going What's on? Going on? What's yeah, going no, you know, Traplor, he was talking about, like, you know, he liked my clothes. He said, man, he liked my swag, right? I can't lie, bro. So before the interview started, bro, I, try I knew Sharp was going to be on me. I tried to disarm him, bro, and I thought he was dressed kind of fly, the all-white fit. I thought it was looking kind of sick. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I was buttering him up, saying, bro, you're looking fresh today, man. You're looking fly. Like, I was, I'll be honest with you, man. I was feeling underdressed. I got my No Jumper New shirt on. I got my little slacks on. You know what I'm saying? Rocking the Balenci's, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't really see them, but your boy rocking the all-black recycled leather Balenci's. So, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of fresh. Apple Watch on Deckington. But uh, I feel like Sharp was looking fly. So, he had the Louis frames on as well. I thought they were looking sick. You know what I'm saying? I got the prescription glasses, so I can't really be wearing Louis like that. But he was having none of it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was saying, Sharp, you're looking fly today, my guy. I was thinking, bro, I need to get ahead of this criticism. He was having none of it, bro. He says, uh, he says it here. He's like, you say I was looking fly, but then he's like, I'm on your ass, bro. Was saying that. I was just saying, man, I, I, I feel like you just got like the eye for fashion. Like for me, I feel like I got a, uh, it take me hours to put together like a nice well, outfit like you I got, really, man. It's well, like head really to toe right, on point. Well, appreciate you. But I think it's he's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it moving, bro. I, I'm, I'm about to smoke you, basically. He's like, yeah, I see you feeling the fit. But I'm I'm here to smoke you. I really come from the streets. I don't really mm. been around different. Look, he, the way he the way he the way he flipped on me, man. This was hilarious. He was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. The reason I'm fly is because I've been around the streets, unlike you. Just mm. senses and see how you know what I'm saying everybody's dressing. Mm. Uh, that's probably why it doesn't take me too long. It's, <laughs> okay, it's easy for me to get that shit together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What's been going on with you, Cat Daddy? How you feel? Man, hey man, hey man. I'm great, man. Hey, can can, can I go ahead? We got you on American soil. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> right, like, look, you gotta give me my respect, man. Okay, 
Like, people want to critique me. People want to say this and that, that I'm not outside. But look, I was outside. Okay, I pulled up to No Jumper. I knew, listen, Sharp was with the big body talking about I was going to catch a fade four months ago. I might got the two-piece, that bitch-ass hey. nigga. I really, Donnie, I don't like that nigga. I was about to get the two-piece. <laughs> I don't like that nigga. <laughs> this four months ago, you can't say that I ain't ducking fades. You can't say that I'm ducking faves. Four months ago, I had the big body, big body Bess over here. All right, about to give me the two piece lemon pepper combo. He's not an he's not American. Hey, get, I don't want to carry it like Trabler, that. Can we get Traveler Ross on the phone? Listen. Four months later, bro, in the flesh, up in this bitch, in person, outside. You cannot say that I'm not out here. You cannot say that I'm not outside, bro. I pulled up, bro. I, I ain't ducking no fades. And me and Sharp had a good conversation. Uh, it ain't Flacco today. It's me. So look here. Even Hell even Hellcat was on me, bro. I was getting it from all angles. Trail. Mm -hmm. How do you feel uh, when you see interviews uh, like uh, Sharp and uh, them uh, calling you uh, all kind of whole ass niggas and shit? I'm like talking that. about the Mona joint. <laughs> Don't call me white girl. That's yeah. my girl. Shout out to her, man. Shout out to my baby. Hey, for real. hey my shout, yeah, shout, baby. shout out to her. Yo, too. bro. Yo, bro. Hey, I love Mona, man. How do, how do you joint. feel? She, she like, went like, hard on in me, man. real life, you on American soil and. You know, Sharp and them don't respect what you do because... I respect I you as a man because I don't know, you could be a good family man. You could take care of a lot of business in your, in your actual life. And I, I applaud you for that. Mm -hmm. But I just kind of find it hard that, you know, motherfuckers that ain't never really, like, been in street politics or ever, mm -hmm. like, really got outside and seen mm -hmm. what's going on to make some of these in-depth documentaries is wild. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like... I would respect it if, like, you even been like, yeah, I didn't come from that, but I get out here and I get into the wave with people. Mm -hmm. Like, I get to see what's going on. People can see. Go ahead. Is there a difference between his documentaries and Flacco's documentaries? Because neither one of them. No, it's all similar. Okay, I, I just want to make sure. Okay, same page, same page. Both. Okay, same page. I, I throw them both in the same boat. You know what I'm everyone, saying? I see everyone in the chat saying they want to watch all of this. I was just going to do like a whistle stop tour of each of these things, but we can we can dive into this for a little like, while. I don't, know, I don't know how much you want to see. Maybe I'll speed it up. I just feel like it's hard to respect somebody's opinion, because we can just call it opinions or theories or hypotheticals, whatever, right? It's hard to respect them when somebody ain't never came from that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't never really got to see where motherfuckers is going hungry and why they even got a trap. Do you even know what trap means when you got trap lord in your motherfucking name? You know what I'm saying? Like that shit matters to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Trap, nigga, you know what trap means? Niggas been doing that shit for a long time. People get killed over it, people lose their families, people go to jail, shit. It's, it's a lot of things that happen behind it. I'm just gonna say, if you're gonna make them type of in-depth documentaries on me, get your motherfucking ass outside, bro. Mm. Get outside and see what's going on. That way you can put a real insight to it and not just be like the rest of the critics and try to gather up information wherever you can get it from and place it there. Mm. Like, fuck anybody else telling the story. Get out there and see what it is. How does that make you feel that Sharp don't respect your craft? Well, you, you know respect what? you as a man, but not as your It's not craft. that I don't respect his craft. I don't respect what he's putting out because it's not really him. He don't know. He ain't never came from that shit. He don't even know what that shit feel like. Boy, that shit feel a lot of pain, my nigga. Mm. I gotta be real with you, man. I, I think it's interesting because watching this back, it seems worse than it felt. Like when I was there, I, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys, bro. I'm a fan. I was just fanned out that I was in the room with Sharp. There's moments where I'm smiling because I'm just enjoying the fact that, like, yo, I'm sat here with Sharp. Like Sharp's roasting me right now. This is lit, bro. This is this is I'm this is no jumper live in the flesh. The live production right in my face. Like I'm actually sat here on the couch with Sharp. Like. I can't lie, I was finding out. This to me is just lit. I'm just enjoying myself right now. But now watching it back, I can see more of like how he's trying to press me and how other people would perceive it. But I'll keep it real with you people. I enjoyed every second of this. I was having a great time just being in the room. You know what I'm saying? A lot of sorrow. And painting people, we don't know what Von done did, man. Let that man sleep. Why well, go throwing alarm clocks in graveyards? I hate that shit. Do you think about Von's kids? Gotta watch the documentary one day? Well, the thing is, it's like Von's kids have got to listen to Von's music where he's talking about he's got seven bodies already, right? And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but like, really, like, my thing is... You can see me smiling. I'm just so happy to be there, bro. I'm so happy to be there with the gang. It's like, I, I kind of respect where you're coming from, Shock, because I don't disagree with you. Like, I don't claim that I'm from the streets. Like, I don't claim... I, I don't, know you don't. I don't present myself like... Yo, I'm from Chicago and I really know what's right. going about going right. on in Chicago from being involved in that shit. Right. Like my perspective and I feel like where I'm trying to come from is truly as like a fan of rap music. So like with the Von documentary, like I didn't set out to be like, yo, I'm gonna put dirt on Von's name because I don't like Von or anything like that. Like I really approached that documentary from the perspective of like, I'm a fan of Von's music. I done heard every Von lyric there is, every Von feature. Like I've been a super fan of Von from back when he was alive doing his thing, right? So like for me, my thing is it's like if these songs like Von is a billboard charting artist, okay? He's a mainstream artist. Like he don't come from the streets in the most, you know, dangerous, difficult background that you could possibly imagine, but he actually made it to the point where he's making songs on the billboard charts. And so for me is it's like, I don't claim to be from the streets, but I am a fan and like, I'm good at research. Like I don't claim to be 
in the streets with the gangs, but I do claim to be like, if it's Google, I'm gonna find some shit out on Google <laughs> that the next person might not be able to find out, right? Fuck Google, bro. Get out in the streets and find out. Go get around some of the people he was actually around. Go be around them. Try to get around his mind, like try to get around some of his family members. Try to go more in depth. Anybody can hop on Google. My son can hop on fucking Google and type in fucking what happened. What do they feel about Vaughn? I'm saying if you're gonna put out that type of shit, put some accuracy to it. I mean, like get out did, there and know what goes on. Did any of that money that you made go to Vaughn's family? Well, did any of the money that Vaughn's made like go to the victims of the people that he allegedly killed? That ain't you know what, what I made. We're not talking about that. No, We're but why should you made off his name? But why should I? The money that I made is from the research that I did about Vaughn. Like Fast. there's a million videos about Vaughn. This is journalism. It's is like, that a no? But, no, hell no. <laughs> like what, what, why is it my responsibility? I don't feel like I don't feel like it be journalism. I think sometimes y'all go like borderline bashing like you know what i'm saying bro like you you bash that person like legend bash like i'm saying you're bashing their legacy you but, know what i'm saying in a sense because like you said shit yeah his kids gonna listen to them lyrics we all know this bro and i don't maybe you look anyway like you, you get the gist i'm gonna sit here and listen to the whole thing because like you guys kind of know the story um you know what i'm saying there's dude i haven't actually watched it but there's dude that did the kind of uh should I just watch a little bit? There's, there's, I don't even feel like our own sharp. I enjoyed it. I felt like it was a respectful discussion. I felt like we both got our shots off, had an enjoyable discussion. I enjoyed every second of it. I thought it was lit. But there was, this guy was saying that it was a huge fail and sharp got owned. I didn't even feel that way. Let's see. Let's just take, get a taste of this and I'll move on to the next thing. All right. So today we're going to be going over this situation that happened yesterday on the news uh, with Sharp and Trap Lore Ross and this other person named Hellcat that we're going to talk about. So Trap Lore Ross came on the news as a guest, and I'm sure you guys know who Trap Lore Ross is. He's the British guy that makes YouTube documentaries about drill rappers and stuff. He made the King Von documentary. Anyway, so he's famous now because of all of his uh, documentaries. He's famous now, people. I'd have made it, baby. I'd have made it to Point and Shoot. Shout out, subscribe to Point and Shoot right now, my guy. Give that a like and everything, bro. But now he's a guest on No Jumper News, and these people should be like hailing him and thanking him for coming on. But instead, what ended up happening was Sharp started pressing and Hellcat. Sharp and Hellcat started pressing Traplore Ross. And they tried to like put him on the hot seat and like grill him about his uh, culture vultureness and his white privilege and stuff. So Sharp and Hellcat are going to press Trappler Ross and then uh, Trappler Ross just easily retorts and he just effortlessly destroys them. And when he does that, <laughs> they just sit there. Man said effortlessly destroys them. My God, bro. Shout out point and shoot, man. I didn't even, I didn't even see it. I thought it was genuine. I genuinely thought it was a healthy and positive discussion that we have. Sharp and Hellcat, they get owned. They just, it's almost like a deer in headlights. Like they can't even talk. They're so stifled. And then Sharp's just like staring off into space because he knows. He knows. It's so funny because like in hindsight, like my lived experience of this was I just really enjoyed going back and forth. I enjoyed being in the room and having a good time with them. And it's like the fact that this is how someone's seeing it from the outside is like very interesting to me. But it's, it's not even how I see it, bro. Shout out to Hellcat and Sharp. The Reddit was going to pick this one up. He knew the sheriff was going to get involved at some point. He was already concerned. You can see it in his stupid. Look at it. Look at the expression on this insane clown posse's face. He knew. He fucked up. So let's go to this first clip. This is going to be Sharp opening up the show with him talking about his clothes and how Trap Lord Ross loved his clothes. And what was really going on is Trap Lord Ross was making fun of him and trolling him. And I think that's not true. Because that's not actually true. I'd say I was trolling him. I wasn't. I genuinely thought it was a really cool fit. I, I was kind of feeling like my fit was kind of trash, but that's funny that you would say that. It sets the vibe for how these two are going to interact uh, for the remainder of the show. Yeah, no, you know, Trap Lord, he was talking about like, you know, he liked my clothes. He said, man, he liked my swag, right? You were saying that. I was just saying, man, I I feel like you just got like the eye for fashion. Like for me, I feel like I got a, I wasn't joking. Me hours to put together like a nice no, outfit. Like you I got, really, man, well, it's like, really it's a coat. Right, point. Well, appreciate you. But I think it's because I really come from the streets. I don't really mm. been around different fashion mm. senses. They saying in the chat, I see you in the chat saying that I was sneak dissing, but I genuinely wasn't. I actually wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's dressing. Mm. Uh, that's probably why it doesn't take me too long. It's, <laughs> okay, it's easy for me to get that shit together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Sharp doesn't understand how zesty he's dressed. That's what's the that's the problem. That's really what I need you guys to understand is that Sharp <laughs> is unaware. He's uh Yo, I was I was I'm not even capping, bro. It's gonna sound like I'm capping, bro. I was not actually clowning, bro. That's not even true, but that's funny that that's how they came across because that's not how that's not what I was going for, honestly. Out of touch with reality. I mean, look at this haircut. Look at this outfit. I mean, this is what he thinks is like top notch. Look at how stupid. Who bid he looks? Anyway, so Trap... I thought he was looking fly. Uh, for real, I thought he was looking fly, bro. I was. I did think he was looking fly. Ross was like, oh man, you got such good fashion. And Sharp's like, yeah, I learned how to dress because I'm from the streets. And, th you know, he's such an idiot. And so Sharp looks atrocious. He looks like the fuck... He looks like Jafar. Or no, no, no. He looks like Scar from The Lion King. That's what he actually looks like. And so Scar's going to start tearing into... Actually, wait. No, Hell... this is where Hellcat gets involved. Okay, so Hellcat's literally a nobody. She's a random person that sat in on an interview... <sighs> Come on, man. Shout out to Hellcat. I feel like Hellcat's next up. One time that she wasn't even being interviewed. She sat in and then I think she sat in. She might have not even been on camera. I don't care enough to research that, to be honest. 
But I do know that Flacco is the one who uh, asked her to come back. So she, so Flacco hired her essentially to No Jumper. Poetic Flacco is the reason for her being on No Jumper. And so she brings up uh, the fact that Sharp doesn't like Trapler Ross. How does that make you feel that Sharp don't respect your craft? So she's very cowardly and very weasel-like, very lizard-like. So she's going to put it all on Sharp. <laughs> Liz she's gonna put yo, yo, point and shoot's going in right now, bro. Point, point and shoot, bro. I do not condone all of these activities. Uh, I'll keep it real with you. As Trapler Ross vicariously through Sharp. You know, Sharp and them don't respect what you do because... I respect I you as a man because I don't know you to be a good family man. You can take care of a lot of business in your, your actual life. And I, I applaud you for that. Mm -hmm. But I just kind of find it hard that, you know, motherfuckers that ain't never really like been in street politics or ever like really got outside and seen mm -hmm. what's going on to make some of these in-depth documentaries is wild. Mm -hmm. He ain't never came from that shit. He don't even know what that shit feel like. Boy, that shit feel a lot of pain, my nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of sorrow. Let that man sleep. Why go throwing alarm clocks in graveyard? Well, not, we don't see what this. he's putting out. So Sharp has no right to speak on the streets at all. He's not from the streets. He's not from a hood, from any city, uh, from anywhere. He's not in politics at all. He doesn't have Cat knows that Sharp Traveler Cat knows that Sharp doesn't like Traveler Ross, and so she starts fanning the flames a little bit by bringing it up. And she knows that uh, Sharp doesn't like him because of this interview that came out where Sharp interviewed this fuck. Yeah, we done this. this, we done too. this. Sharp has a problem with this journalist uh, who's not from the streets doing evidence based research through Google. Feature like I've been a super fan. A lot of, of these gangster of rappers are lying in their raps, and if he were to do a deep dive on them and do and make a documentary about them, he could like disprove their lies and stuff and ruin their reputation by exposing them as a liar. And Sharp, this is what Sharp went with. This is how incredibly dumb this guy is, okay? Maybe you don't. See, that's the problem. I'm expecting you to know some shit that you don't. Sure. Like, there's a lot of cap in people's rap. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people might say certain things. Hey, he caught seven bodies. Never thought about it in their life. He might even be telling, let, let me speak. Of course. He might be telling a story. You know how many niggas don't tell, pick up the next nigga's story and tell it like they own? You ever had somebody do that to you? Um, and she, and you find the fuck out that this even you. You're really talking about your homeboy the whole time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this music be impactful, so they'll write it like that. Like, Nah, it ain't gonna sound hard if I attempted to try to knock a nigga off. It's gonna sound hard if I got seven bodies already up under my belt. So you saying Vaughn was all cap? Not saying it was all cap, but I can tell you that in rap and maybe and maybe in a lot of years it could have been inflated. Well, this is the thing. Though. Did you watch the Did you watch the Vaughn documentary? Did you actually see the whole thing? You watch it. All right. So Sharp basically said that everyone's capping and that you don't want to do a documentary on Vaughn because he might have been inflating his lyrics with cap. What a fucking fool this guy is. So Sharp's obviously reaching, trying to find something to pin down uh, Trapler Ross, but Trapler Ross simply is just owning them in old English style. Uh, you know. So uh, Hellcat starts getting desperate. Now she starts asking police questions, which started uh, alarm bells started going off. I'm like, whoa, is this an informant? Is this a police officer? This is nuts. I think Hellcat's actually working with the feds. Listen to this question. I'm doing a good job. Like, that's Bro, real. Do we say this real quick though? Have you ever trapped oh, in your life? I can't say I've ever trapped. Oh, so I can't uh, say I've ever trapped. But my name, my name isn't Trapper Ross. It's Trapped Law Ross. It's yeah, folklore, yeah. folklore, folklore it related no, to no, trapping. I'm just, I'm just asking. Exactly yeah, I'm, I'm saying, is. have you ever shot at anybody, right? Or been shot at? I can't say I have. You ever been with a homie that did, did so? Did you just hear those questions that the cat said? Hey, hey I, did, I didn't even pick up on this, but those are police ass questions, bro. They're giving me the Vlad treatment. Because you know what I'm saying? When they said, have I ever trapped, I had to think about the answer to that because I ain't even going to cap. I ain't gonna say too much. You have a trap? You have a shot at anybody? You ever been around? I any? never shot anybody though. One that shot any? I mean, it's just like how fucking insane. I met people that have done that kind of thing, but like, yeah, but the thing is, I gotta remember though. I'm really not trying to glamorize this lifestyle. Like I say at the start but of the video. You put the work that's, out there, that's though, exactly bro. What's, what's going on though? That's the work you put. Uh, no, actually, King Von and other gangster drill rappers are the ones who glamorize the lifestyle, and then they get fans, and then they get super fans, and then the super fans research them and make videos about them. It's very uncomplicated. Okay, they just hate on him simply because he is more successful than they are. Hellcat saw Traplor Ross pull up in the Bolan season. She was sick. She was like, oh, come on, the Balenci's, my guy. Point and shoot, bro. Point and shoot, man. I, I need to subscribe to this guy twice. I might turn the notifications on. Man, how come the motherfucker ain't never killed nobody down in Texas where I'm from in Texas? She ain't, ain't never killed nobody. Now, how's she supposed to be pulling up a Balenciaga's? I'm wearing these fucking rags. And so the berating of the special guest will continue. Because I'm a fan, because this stuff is on Billboard charts. If this was like some you random rapper. Niggas dying. I'm, hell no. I'm, no. Pro, I'm hey, devastated. I'm devastated. Seven niggas. That is not the title on the songs. Are well, the thing is, I'm analyzing lyrics on songs that are on Billboard charting albums. So I feel like that's in the public domain. Like, that's in the public space. I'm not reading his journal that he was writing himself. Like, I'm reading the lyrics of his songs that are on Genius.com and on the Billboard charts. So it's like, for me, I feel like it's fair game. Once that shit's mainstream, it's, it's for everyone. Speaking of fair game. The whole thing with Von was Von was the real killer. He was he was never capping in his raps. He was, really did what he said. If I made a video about some rapper that says that he's got seven bodies and it's all cap, and I break it down and I say, yes, yeah, cap, he never had the seven bodies. That's not interesting. But the thing with Von, the reason why so many millions of people gravitated towards him was because he was supposedly like the realest rapper who ever did it, who really killed people. But, so, okay, how about this, right? The Chicago police say that King Von was the was the prime suspect in the murder of Ki, who was the female gang member that he had allegedly shot and killed, right? And Von is in the A and E documentary, him himself doing an interview, talking about her, saying like, damn, you know, when she got killed, I didn't have no one to hang out with no more. And he allegedly was the prime suspect <laughs> in her murder. So it's like this is the kind of crazy shit that Von was doing. He was actually in the documentary about people he killed so it's like to, for people to be like yo von was he wasn't really like that like trap law ross is like adding too much sauce but like von was legit in documentaries about people he killed and it's like bro like for me to come along and make a
Who's gonna do the crime anymore? You niggas stay crying when motherfucker fuck around and hurt one of y'all out here. That's what y'all. Then it's gonna be a whole different mixture. <laughs> Hey, listen, that's, that shit was about to get real. He said, he's, you know what I'm saying? Sharp was, Sharp was about to, to sick, what's the name on me? The Big Body. Sharp was about to send Big Body Mona Lisa on me. Big Body Best. You know what I'm saying? I was about to get Kelpied up in this bitch. We can we say want, all the shit we want to call. Hey, 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 really call 911. Some niggas ain't going to give a fuck about that. It takes 60 seconds, if that, not even eight seconds, to get it your ass, nigga. But See how fast the police live with the police every day. But how is it gangster to hurt? Right, so the pressure of getting owned is getting to Sharp. He's starting to get out of breath. He can barely breathe. He's starting to get really worried. I didn't. It's, it's just so funny, man. Because like at the time, like I just felt we were having a fun back and forth, and we just up, kept it moving. And now he's talking about physical violence against bloggers and uh, content creators. And then listen to Trap Lord Ross effortlessly destroy him once again. Listen to this. With the police every day. <laughs> but how is it gangster to hurt a, to hurt a blogger, a vlogger, a YouTuber? Like that's not like how's that gangster? Like you're a reporter, you know? Like what's like I just don't see how there's points to be scored hurting people like me or Vlad or Flocko. Like, I'm just telling point? you what comes with it when you play them games. We all face that over here, dog. We all got to kind of watch what we say because we kind of know in anything that we say or you do. Condemn that, right? We on American we say or do, mm. We can have consequences for it, bro. In the streets, streets don't give a fuck my nigga they don't show love to nobody that don't deserve it you gotta really earn it dog but what did i say that was so bad that like that, that someone would want to hurt me like that because even like even von, a lot of those people kind of said that it, it's like hey, they respect it my man i'm just telling you what comes with it. you don't know what comes with it sharp you are a goof you're not from the streets you have no street cred real people from the streets like trap lord ross and shit okay so shut the fuck up gotta be tuned in shit a little bit uh, yeah for sure yeah Ah, uh, bro, shout out, shout out my guy BJ from O-Block, man. We're about to get an interview and it's about to be fire. I'll be locked in it, yeah, because I'll turn some shit fast, but for sure that. That was, like, one you yeah. had to watch, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, because, uh, yeah, for sure. Have you seen the Chicago? He a wise, he a wise dude. Right. Travel with Rose, that's his name? Yeah, yeah. Travel with Rose. Well, but shout out to him, man, for even sitting and doing any type of content, and he, he you know what I'm saying, Vaughn already had the eye on him, so it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even seen this Bezu interview yet, actually. We said Vaughn had his eye, bro, Vaughn had more than his eye on me, bro. But it is, but, like, he, for him to put that Together like that, I literally said in Korea. You saying Vaughn already knew about him? I say Vaughn already had this cloud and oh, yeah, buzz, yeah. Or whatever. So like, I'm sure a lot of the tuned in anyway. But for him to put it together, how he put it together, and with himself, no production team, no nothing, he did his tinky team. <laughs> hey, shout out, shout out, Bezu, man. We need to get that interview in. I don't think I can afford Bezu's V for an interview. I keep it real, view. I know Bezu charges a bag, but shout out, Bezu, man. He's, a, you know, what I'm saying he's a real street legend for sure. Yeah, oh, did. it's Thingy Thing. He did, yeah, Thingy Thing, oh, Thingy yeah, Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? the thingy thing and all that. So as you guys can see, real gangsters, real people from the streets don't give a fuck. They actually like Trapler Ross's stuff. So it's really kind of, it just makes Sharp and Hellcat look even goofier for them to say that they're from the streets, so they hate Trapler Ross. So I thought I'd throw those in. And so what I think is going on is I think that Sharp and Hellcat have forgotten, like it's escaped their attention that they work for Adam 16. And this is a fact that Trapler Ross is going to help them realize in this next clip. Watch this. Hey, listen, I don't know. I don't condone any of this Adam 16 slander, okay? I ain't for that. I feel like point and shoot, putting a few, pointing and shooting a few words in my mouth. Balls. But uh, I don't know. This is about to be the most replayed part of the video. So this is about to be something major. I know it's going to be Adam Slander, but that ain't what it is. Out the streets. It's really not too many people that ain't in the streets that just insert their motherfucking self in the streets for no fucking reason than to say that I'm a fan. But I'm not actually in the streets. I'm not inserting myself in the streets. Like, how is what I'm doing any different to Adam okay. having yes. a rapper on here and asking him about all the murders? Like, yeah, we get it. Yeah. Let's, you know what let's I'm saying? get into this. Hey, we appreciate you for even saying what you had to say about it, you know what I'm saying, and giving up some answers to how you... Damn, so did you just see the ownage, the defeat? Oh my God, that was perfect. All right, so this is when it gets really good. This is when Brick Baby... Now, this was crazy, because I'll keep it real with you. I just did the documentary. I was talking about all the rumors about Brick Baby and Quando and all sorts of situations, bro. I'll keep it real with you. The one thing I was scared about about LA was bumping into Brick Baby and him not feeling me. I'll keep it real. That was the one thing I was scared about. I just did the, I just did the whole. Let me let's recap. Let's recap. Okay, let's recap. All right. Let's recap. All right. I done done the whole brick baby. Gang bang it. You With know all what I'm this saying? content floating around, it's no surprise then that rumors would spread that Brick Baby had something to do with this. I can't lie, I just picked the perfect moment from this three and a half hour documentary. I picked the perfect moment like that. That was a fluke. Allegations which he personally denied on social media. Stop playing with a name, cuz. Stop playing with my name, point blank, period. I'm sick, so crazy. So look, I done put this out. This was three weeks ago, okay? And this was like. This was like two weeks ago, I swear. This is 12 days ago. So the one thing I was scared about coming to LA was bumping into big brick brick, brick baby shit row over here, okay? That was that was the one thing I was shook about. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. And you know what happened, bro? This this was a curveball, because Brick Baby pulled up. I genuinely you might even be able to see I shit my pants when Brick Baby walked into the room. You might not notice that. Pulls up, as we all know, Brick Baby's a crit. Alright, so this is when it gets really good. This is when Brick so look, we might have to find the original actually. We might have to find the original. Uh where was it? Where did it go? Damn. 
wait, 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 wait. I need to find the actual, the actual, actual ting. Where is it? 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 Ah, I done lost it. I done lost it. I done lost it. Where is it? The moment Brick Baby came in, I shit my pants. I, I shit you not, bro. I, I was genuinely... See, that's the problem. I, I pooped my britches when Brick walked in. I was scared. Where is he? Is he in already? We need the full thing. Because when Brick walked in, because the whole argument had, had been put to bed. We moved on. We are talking about P. Diddy and all that kind of stuff. There was one moment where I did kind of shit on Sharp a little bit. And I wasn't really trying to diss him too hard. But when he started talking about the P. Diddy allegations. And I was like, we're snitching right now. We're doing what you just said. I was in trouble for doing. But when Brick Baby walked in, I was scared. This, uh, bro, I ain't going to front. I ain't going to front, bro. This is the moment. I, my heart dropped. I thought I was in trouble. Wait. We got to play this. Social media like Super B. He might say a couple words, but post a picture or some yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's not to the magnitude Ooh, where it it overflows. Over <laughs> hey. He walked in and said, who said I killed who? I w bro. I was shit my pants, bro. I was so scared. I was so scared. The real Brick Baby walked in the room and I'd just been talking all sorts of shit about Brick Baby, man. I was just... I was just... Sorry, I landed in that... This was three weeks ago. November the 8th. And this was... uh, When was this? November the 8th. This was November the 17th. This is less than 10 days later. And Big Brick Baby himself walked in the room, bro. I was I was shaking. <laughs> oh, Brick. Oh, Brick. Bro, I dropped my drink. I dropped my drink, bro. I was so scared. I literally, Brick walks in the room and I dropped my drink. I was shook. I thought I was, I thought I was going to need to run out that bitch. I thought the real pressing, because people were saying, you get impressed by Sharp and you handled it really well. I was not worried about Sharp and Hellcat. I was not worried about them. When Brick Baby walked in the room, bro, Oh, man. I was so scared. I dropped my drink, bro. I was checking the bag. I was looking for the emergency exits, bro. I was scared. Yo, Brick. Look at me. Yo, listen. Look, bro. So look, bro. So look, right? How you doing, man? I was so scared. I was so scared. <laughs> bro, this, nobody picked up on this, bro. I was, oh, bro. I was nervous, bro. I was nervous, bro. Anything could have happened, bro. We're wearing the same t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Listen, bro. So look, right? It's, so look. Respect, man. I have a brick duck. Look, I'm looking behind me, bro. I'm looking behind me. I think I'm about to get. I think I'm about to get two to the dome. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I thought I was about to get two to the dome. I'm adjusting my shirt and everything, bro. Look at it. Look at me. I dropped the drink. Just let's have an action replay, play by play. I don't know why this keeps flickering. That's something up on my stream here, but it overflows. Oh, brick. Oh, brick. Yo, brick. Yo, listen. Look, bro, so look, bro, so look, right? How you doing, man? How are you? Listen, bro, so look, right? So look. I have a brick duck with a drop of Look at that, look at that, yo. Yo, let me look over my shoulder real quick. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, brick. Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't do me like, you know what I'm saying? Don't do me like that, brick. Right, hey, listen. You were doing the brick documentary next. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, hey, hey, listen, right, look. Bro, brick. we're gonna get, we're gonna get this guy. I gotta get, look, I start talking to Flocko so that I can look over my shoulder without, without being a phony, basically, bro. Literally, I, I start talking to Flacco so that I can actually look at where Brick is because I'm scared. Real shit. I'll start talking about the Brick Baby documentary. Trouble, man. We got to stop. Look, yeah. right. look at me. Right. Look at me. I'm like, yeah, Flacco, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to keep eyes on Brick, bro, because I don't know what's about to happen, bro. Right, so look. No security. Look, I'm just... Look at me. I uncover two stories. One... I'm just like, yeah, where's Brick at? Where's Brick going to sit? Yo, where's Brick gonna sit? At, at by Travis. Look, look, I turn my whole, I turn my whole body. I I rotate my entire body ninety degrees because I'm uh, bro. I don't know what's happening. Not that I won't say right now. Look at that! I winch my whole leg up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and then two, you being. I was about to. I see you in the chat saying I, I was about to run. I thought I was gonna have to run to the G wag. I thought I was gonna have to run to the G wagon. It was crazy. In a club with. I rotated my whole shit, bro. This this was one of the most memorable moments of the trip. Future when the game pulled up. Oh wow! How the fuck you? Hey, what, hey, hey. hey what's Brick? Oh, you, Brick's gonna sit behind me. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, Flacco. Oh, Brick's Brick's gonna sit behind Ross. Yeah, lit. Yeah, great. 
Great news. Give me do it research. No, I'm looking for the exits. I'm saying Rio is Flacco leaving. Like I'm, I'm like I feel like this is some Michael Corleone shit. Like Flacco's leaving because he doesn't want to get brains on his face. Well, that's it, drop nigga. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Look, I'm like yo. Yo, Flacco leaving. Flacco's my only ally in the room, bro. I'm being left behind. I'm being left unattended with two ops and Brick Baby, bro. Brick Baby sitting behind me. What's that? Is that that? There's that bit in The Godfather, I swear, where they they get in the car and he gets shot in the back of the head. Is he when he's riding with Clemenza or something, bro? Uh, uh, uh. I'm like, I'm like, Flacco, where are you going, bro? Where are you go, Flacco? Flacco, don't leave me, bro. Flacco is my only. Flacco was my only guy, bro. Hey, hey listen up. This nigga. Here, Look at me. That is a demon. Bro. <laughs> Look, that Flacco says he's a demon and walks out the room, bro. Uh, hey, bro. Listen, hey, hey, look, listen. I'm scared. Listen, we won't say it. Hey, listen. Game point up there. Hey man, no mods, man. Hey man, it's love, bro. <laughs> look at me, bro. This is the moment. So much is going on. I'm thinking, bro. I'm with two ops. I'm with Brick. He sat right behind me in prime position, bro. He's got a good vantage point, bro. I'm about to get done, done like JFK. You talking about TRL? JFK up in this bitch. <laughs> hey, what's good, Brick? Am I in trouble? Nah, hell nah, <laughs> man. You doing your job? Hey, what I text you, Josh? I'm a fan, bro. Look at my knee. Look at my knee. Look at my leg, okay? I done twisted, I done swiveled 90 degrees, and now my leg is vibrating like your girl's rabbit. Hey, man, it's love, bro. <laughs> hey, what's good, Brick? Am I in trouble? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I thought I thought he was going to do me like YNW Melly, bro. <laughs> uh, man, you doing your job. Hey, what I text you, Josh? That knee. Look at that knee going crazy. I'm a fan, bro, to keep doing your thing. Hey. They were about to... They were... <laughs> they had you don't forget the cannoli flacco, bro. It's facts. And like I said, if a motherfucker killed the motherfucker and, and, and the world can put it together, then you go into jail. Uh, you know what I mean? In, in these words, in this, in this world. But I'm going to just leave a question mark on top of that shit. I don't know what you talk about. Okay, well, boy. here's my question for you then. This is the million. This is me. I'm trying to deflect because he, he, here's the thing, right? Of everything, all the shit that I talked about, Brick Baby, in this video, bro. Atlanta, boom. Like like this. People. All of this. <laughs> all of this shit that I'm talking about. <laughs> about. God. <laughs> Is April 2023. LA, come on, let's make it make sense. But even as recently as April 2023, Brick Baby is still releasing music like his most recent track, Not Enough, which came with lyrics where he seemingly admitted outright to lining people up and boldly proclaiming to have been paid in excess of a million dollars for setting someone up to get killed. All of these public statements paint a picture of the LA rolling 60s being involved in this incident. But for the record, at the time of making this video, this crime is still completely unsolved and there's been no substantial evidence to tie anybody to the murder of Lil Pab. This so look, I do say in the documentary there is no stat, there's no evidence, no one's connected. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'll say it, but I did, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 so what I'm saying? That's a Brick Baby lyrics. So, here I am. Brick Baby, he's got the drop on me. He sat behind me. Flacco has left me. Now, I ain't gonna front. Flacco would make a perfect human shield, okay? Me and Flacco went for Korean barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Flacco, if, if someone's gonna shoot me, I want Flacco in between. But, you know what I'm saying? I had to deflect the situation, okay? So this is the moment where I try to deflect and I basically am attempting not to be turned into a pack, okay? This was this was the moment because I'm scared. I'm, I'm on the back foot. Just leave a question mark on top of that shit. I don't know what you talk about. Child. Okay, well, here's my question for you then. This is the million dollar question for you. My, my theory was always like, it seems like Brick really was smart and used this whole thing, all these rumors that were going around to promote your song. And then you got the lyrics that they kind of like, they seem a certain way, but they they're not really saying anything. Bit. Yeah, they you know clash a little bit. Was, I, it, was that the strategy? Was I that, feel was that like, the genius I feel move? like it, it, in hindsight that, uh, so you, yeah. All right, fuck it. We talking. You said that it was a million dollars involved, bro. You know what I mean? Somebody else said, told me that I got paid a hundred. And I just told the motherfucker, man, I charge a quarter for a pack of hundred ain't enough. <laughs> Last That's a hard lyric, I turned too. it back. We got a million plus. I mean, shit, it just is what it is. That clip of you holding all the cash, man, a lot of people thought that was uh, that was all whole thing. And you Yeah, know I know. Well, I had just signed a publishing deal with APG. Mm. Nice, uh, man. Congrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the motherfucker, I, you know, I, I'm telling I'm, you just I'm talking so about you this. can know. But, yeah, you yeah, know yeah man. I'm talking about this. Everyone was saying Brick was holding the cash that he got paid to line this guy up. 
okay? That's what people were saying. Shooting, Brick Baby would be seen on social media flexing with bundles of cash, and releasing a new song with OTF artist C3, a track called Brick Lato. A track which had C3 rapping, I heard they claim in 60, have them real hoods get at you. So look, I'm saying all this shit. This is ironic, right? And I don't think people picked up on this enough. Sharp is literally telling me off for doing this shit, right? He's saying I'm putting people's, I'm putting real street dudes, street dudes' names in situations that they don't want to be in. I am quite literally over here putting the sh specific street dudes' names in situations. My guy is holding cash. the bundle of cash, okay? A new... Now dude is sitting behind me and the pressure is on. People think that I was getting pressed at the start of this interview. The pre this is where the pressure is on, people. This shit was crazy. Whoever don't catch this news clip, they'll never know what's going on. You know what I mean? For real. But man, it's 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 crazy to see you in the fresh in the flesh, bro. Can I can I check in? Yeah. I'm, I'm stumbling over my words, bro. This was crazy. For sure. Am I checked in? For sure. You come check in. Check in. We go to Adam party. Come to the studio. <laughs> and check in. Come hey, Adam, on, Adam's party is due to be crazy, bro. Seems yeah. like the guest list is about to be out of control. Yeah. He's happy to check in. Everyone yeah. both say, can I check in? Yeah, he checking in. <laughs> nah, it's good, though. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? A lot of people hate on you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people love you. Everybody watches it. So that means that everybody loves it. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? From you to be, I... I cannot tell you how relieved I was to hear that shit coming out of Brick Baby's mouth because I honestly thought I was about to get two to the dome. I just find it brilliant for you to be all the way from uh, the UK and you could do more research than these bum-ass detectives, right? So just listen, just hold on. Let me let real quick. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm telling people. If they hire motherfuckers like Trap Lord Ross to to find out what's going on with a murder investigation and all that maybe they'll find it out without having snitches you don't have to snitch to nobody streets you know what I mean tell them to hire some elevated thinkers some real some real puzzler I mean uh what do you call people that do puzzles well whatever yeah. they got like a little clip yeah puzzlers <laughs> yeah you get some real puzzlers together that's gonna put their pieces together and the police gonna do it the streets we giving them the game, not making them work. They they getting paid off of off of us just being scared. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? If if they got somebody smart enough to put the play together, then so be it. You know what I mean? But my message to the streets is y'all don't gotta say nothing, man. Let them people go to work. If they find something, they find something. If they don't, I will. That's the problem, man. I feel like nowadays, you know, a lot of people are very comfortable putting all their business on social media. And like, you know, a lot of people, the thing people are like, yo, Trap Lord Ross is snitching. It's like, yo, if you don't think that the cops are actually actively watching people's social media, then you're crazy. Because like, you know, what people they're, be getting, they're overly watching your yeah, social it's media. Crazy. So look, th at this point, things were diffused. I, I was stressed out. I even started asking for SIGs. Interrogated. For real. Everything. Damn. Bro, do you know how lucky you are? You ain't got to be in the streets. Bro, and, and you uh, bro, do you know how lucky I am that Brick Baby didn't put two in my dome? And you can talk about them. And, I, bro, and... I do, I do feel that because, like, ultimately, like, I know I got privileged sure. in the sense that, like, been, I was I, about to say, I'm not from that environment, and like, I try and appreciate it and put, my, <laughs> put myself <laughs> in that situation, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that shit's some bullshit, my nigga. So I what? called it for what it was earlier. I'm like, nigga, I just don't understand it. I'm. Shit kind of don't make no sense to me. But, but his, let me they ask you this. Pour syrup on shit and call it pancakes, nigga. Shit, we, but let we me ask still this, right? What it is. But Brick, like you, you couldn't. If you made a video like a video like my video I'm talking about all the shit that. that goes on from where you're from, yeah. How are people gonna be looking at you? Crazy, right? So it's like it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was stressed. I even started asking. I think I, I think I bummed a cigarette off of Sharp because I was so stressed. I literally thought I was about to get smoked like a cig. I don't usually smoke. I swear I smoke a cig in this. Do I sm don't I smoke a cig? That's out of character for me to smoke a cig on this thing. I swear I smoked a cig. Did I not? Was it off camera? Maybe it was off camera. I didn't smoke it on there. But I was so stressed. I think I asked Sharp. I think I asked Sharpie for a cig. And I sat there and smoked a goddamn cig on No Jumper News because I thought I was about to get popped. So listen, we're about to get to the real shit anyway. We're about to move on from this, but this was honestly, this was a, this was a serious, serious situation that I got myself into here right now, to be honest, bro. I thought I was about to get smoked. I thought I was about to be the new pack. Million ain't enough. Now, I think it was the end of the show I, I smoked a cig, but, um. I don't know where it's at to find some of the latest talk. I was shook, man. I was shook, literally. I was, I was asking for cigs. I was 
looking over my shoulders, rotating my body 90 degrees. That shit was crazy. So anyway, people, that's what went down. Following the sharp Hellcat and Brick Baby lining up where Flacco left me to go and get some cannolis to get popped in the back of the dome, okay? Brick Baby pulls up. As we all know, Brick Baby's a crip from LA. Yeah, they, hey. Crip and Hellcat in there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people love you. Everybody. Anyway, we'll move on from that. We, we had enough of that, okay? Um, I was about to get smoked like a cig. It was crazy. I was about to get smoked with the cig, like a cig. And we're nearly at 1,000 live viewers now, people. That's crazy. We're on 987 live viewers. Let's go. Anyway, um, next stop was the No Jumper store, man. I went to the No Jumper store, to the in-store. It was litty like a titty, okay? So let me see if I can find I had a video. I swear I had a video of it. Oh, no. I found the Dopers Yola video, but we've moved on from that segment now. Um, ah, where was it? I was at the No Jumper live store. I was in there, man. I was in the live store. Where is it? Where are all the pics? No, Shane. I met the Hoff twins. Here we go. Look, I pulled up to the No Jumper store. I got given some merch. I was chilling with the Hoff twins. It was litty. You know what I'm saying? I was having a great time in there. Chilling with my guy from Channel 5. You know what I'm saying? I feel very rude right now because I've forgotten my guy's name. But, um, Julian. Shout out my guy, Julian Chung, bro. We were hanging out. Had a really good catch up. He was looking after me. Um, you know what I'm saying? I've met so many people, man. Apologies. It, it takes me a minute to keep track of everything that's going on. But you know what I'm saying? I was all up in the No Jumper store. It was lit. I even did a little freestyle. Um, I'll keep it real with you. I hopped in the booth and did a freestyle. I wasn't that proud of myself. I thought my freestyle was kind of trash. Let me see if I can find it, because that'll be the next step. Um, let's see. Here we go. I'll keep it real with you. I wasn't that proud of myself. I thought this freestyle was kind of trash, but you know what I'm saying? Also, you can tell you can tell that I've become friends with Sharp in the days that follow because I did this freestyle on the day, but they didn't react to this until a week later. And in that time, me and Sharp had squashed the beef and became friends after the show. He gave me a couple of cigs. You know what I'm saying? I smoked a few cigs and calmed my nerves, right? Got like linked up with sharp at the event at the live event we took a pick and squashed the beef where was the moment we squashed the beef man there was like one pick me and sharp we officially squashed everything you know what i'm saying me sharp and remo it, we the beef was squashed man it was all good after this point so but i, I got in there and did a freestyle man i i, I didn't love it i thought it was kind of trash mm -hmm. big trap low ross big no jump oh big trap big Laura trap Laura Ross. Ross. Uh, okay i'm saying <laughs> big sharp mm -hmm. yep the UK drill beat and everything, bro. About to go crazy. Yeah, I don't want to hear it, bro. I don't. I feel like it was kind of trash. Mm. That is that UK mm. drill, like Look, this. Big trap, Lord Ross, and I'm out here at no jumper. And you know I came with a pumper. And you know it came with a thumper. Oh. You might get hit with a blick. Mm. You might get hit with a stick. Uh. If you want to come around me and talk bare shit, you will get hit. Ooh. You will get bun. Okay. I'm a send man up. I'm a fry him like the sun. You know that I can't be out here looking like a rough fuck bum. Because you know that my crew came through with a gun. And you might get bun. And look at all these YouTube dons. I swear these men are my sons. I swear oh. these men are so fake. These men talk to the Jakes. These men here are ratting. I ain't, ain't that about bad. Him like Jake. I ain't talking about all of these dons. I might come through. I've got a BA ons. I'm educated. I come through, get a bitch naked. Yeah, yeah. I'll come through spraying. Come through like 16 shot em. What? Cause you know that if I see it up, it's spot em, got em. Right there too. I'ma leave him rotten. I'ma fly out packs. Everybody know Big Trap Lord Ross come through and he'll charge you a tax. I'll charge you 50%. If you move shit in my town, if you wanna come round with me, you know that I sell white and I sell brown. You know that I'm a kingpin. Bitch, I am the linchpin of this YouTube documentary game. Cause you know that that's the way I came. I saw, I conquered. I get the bad beast bonkers. I might hit an up with a stick just like I was playing conkers. I might play you on a These men are so boring. If I see it up, he's snoring when I punch him. You know that I came through like it's a luncheon. And you know that I might hit ops with a rough like truncheon. Like a British cop, got a bad bee giving me top. And I just bought an iced out watch. And you know that I came through rocking the polo lacoste. And you know that it's trap Lord Ross. And what? You don't even ask what my new whip cost. Don't even ask about me, cause you might get shot in the head. And you know that I came through on this scene and I leave all my ops dead. And when the ops see me on the block, then I know they all straight fled. Is that the end of the beat? I'm gonna go a cappella instead. <laughs> <laughs>
We saying. What we said. No, that was hard. <laughs> what we said. <laughs> and that was a real freestyle, though. Yeah, That's what you got to give him. His it was a real freestyle. That was off the dome, but I wasn't happy with myself, bro. I, I did the I did the big freestyle on Community, man. That was major, and I felt like that was a step down. I was wasn't happy with myself. I wasn't ready for the UK drill beat, bro. The 140 BPM threw me off. I should have been on a on a US beat. But you know what I'm saying? We did the trap law. We we did the in store. It was kind of lit. I enjoyed myself there, man. Um, I think maybe there was a video. I had a little video. Is it this one? My car. Go crazy in here, man. Some sick designs. No jumps at all, man. We're in here. Melrose, I call fuck with us. So, you know what I'm saying? The no jumper store was lit. I enjoyed it. And look, look, here we go. Me and Sharp, we squashed the beef, man. Look at this. We squashed the beef. It was all love in the end, Mo. It was all good. So anyway, look, that went down.